This is a presentation on derailment analysis of BTPN, derailed on 12th April 2022. The BTPN had derailed by only one trolley without having any wheel mounting mark on the rails. This is the performa for Vaughan wherein the data has been recorded. The type of wagon is BTPN with tear load of 26.3 tons and carrying capacity being 55 tons. Incidentally, the payload in tons had been recorded as 65.04 tons against the carrying capacity of 55 tons. So this gave a little bit of uh, confusion whether the wagon was overloaded or so. As for uh, BTPN, the axle load permitted is only 20.32 tons. So we had to go in for the PUL data record. The PUL particulars were also obtained from the unloading point. And uh, the serial number 29 of the derailed wagon, as indicated here, also indicated that the wagon has been loaded to the permissible loading extent only and there was no overloading. Only by mistake and they had mentioned the liters of uh, 65040 as carrying capacity or the payload as per label. So that mistake was resolved and there was no overloading as such mentioned in the. As per the joint note, the SSEs have recorded the deflected height of springs, coil springs of the bolster. And this has been indicated here. Here we find that on this side we have 228, here 209, here we have again 200, and here we have 230 mm as the deflected height. If we further minutely see, we can see here that these are diagonally compressed springs than these ones. And further we see that here this is low by 28 mm and this is also low by 21 mm. This indicates that these two diagonally nests are more compressed than these two diagonally stiff nest of springs. Here the cross level we can say in terms of track measurements the springs exhibit the same type of a level difference of 28 mm and here the spring exhibit a difference of 21 mm. So if we calculate the twist as in the case of uh, our track over a wheelbase of, uh, I'm sorry, over a center to center distance of both the trolleys, which is 8.391 meter, per meter the twist comes out to be 5.83 millimeter.
<coughs> now the basic requirement of nest of springs or we can say the spring bed is to exhibit a uniformly horizontal plane to the load of the body load of the wagon load of the commodity but here we find that these are exhibiting a diagonally different sort of deflecting characteristic or we can say in other words that they exhibit a inherent twist in the load shearing as there is a different k value for all the four type of spring nests the spring detail drawing is here displayed wherein it indicates that the working height is 217 mm for these type of springs but we have measured around 209 and 200 mm so which is far less than 217 mm thus these springs fall under the category of rejection as they cannot sustain their required working height of 217 mm at the given load the load is no way an overload thus we need to have a thorough check on the spring heights in free condition whether they are within the permissible range of height difference of 3 mm or more as in most of the cases we have seen in case of derailments when the free height is measured there is a vast difference in the free height of these springs extending up to the extent of say 8 mm 10 mm or so generally what we find in case of derailments when we ask for such measurements which are not in the performer there is always an resistance from the uh, owner department that uh, this item is not mentioned in the accident performer so that will not be recorded or that will not be given it's hereby clarified that para 7 of the covering letter of railway board's revised performer is reproduced here and which needs no further elaboration it very clearly mentions that no inquiry shall be completed before the complete measurement of rolling stock and track and it's made a part of the inquiry report inquiry committee may get additional measurements done as per requirement of the derailment case now in this case when we have got a vast difference in the deflected height so it's most important that we should go in to check whether the springs confirm to the required uh, group confirm to the required grouping of springs confirm to the required free height of the springs because of this defect a groove has been noted in the top liner plate of the side bearer to the extent of 8 mm and 5 mm which is perhaps due to the uh, poor deflecting characteristics of the spring itself so summarizing the derailment mechanism the following points come up for discussion that there was improper load sharing by the coil springs possibly due to non proper grouping of the springs during rwh the working height has been less than the required working height of 217 mm this can be due to poor deflecting characteristic or loss of the required specific deflection of the springs which has resulted into a deflection twist of 5.8 mm per meter on the center to center bogey distance of the wagon further during shunting there could be liquid jolts that can lead to unloading and offloading of the wheel probably more strongly contributed by and the poor deflecting characteristic of the springs as the pom is absent so this there is uh, no point of mount and uh, whatever track twist has been mentioned that is within the permissible limits that has already been given by the sscp way in its joint note so at the end it's always desirable to rise above departmental considerations and be near to the probable cause to rectify the defect rather than to hide as the aim is to have zero derailments 
वेल थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग नमस्कार